Hello, it's another week, it's another week, and this week you're going to be looking for the market breakdown for the coming week, which is going to begin on the 21st of October and going to end on the 25th of October. So the first pair in front of us, which you're going to be looking at for the coming week, it's Audi card, and this is H4 time frame. Uh, for the coming week in Audi card, you're going to be looking for a bullish direction. The big reason behind is because of the clear first bottom and there's the second bottom. Now we are expecting that the market will break this trend line here and this support or resistance, then you come back to test is when you're going to be taking our entry, holding it toward our targeted area. This is Audi card and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be focusing on apart from Audi card for the coming week. Another pair which you're going to be focusing for Audi car, it's Audi chief. And for Audi chief for the coming week, uh, we're going to be looking for a bullish direction. The big reason behind is because the market is consolidating or moving within a triangle. And also we have a clear double bottom pattern. Now we are stating that the, when the market opens, it will break and retest is when we're going to get our first entry. And when it, it retests the neck of the double bottoms, is when you're going to add another entry at this level, holding it toward our targeted area, which can clearly be seen in daily time frame. This is our targeted area. I think everybody can see because there is this downtrend of of ours. This is Audi Chief and this is daily time frame. Another pair which you're gonna be looking at apart from Audi Chief is Audi NZ. And for Audi NZ for the coming week you're gonna be looking for a bullish direction. The big reason behind it's because the market has given us the double bottom which is the reversal pattern and then successfully tested the neck. So we are expecting for looking opportunity of buying this pair, holding it through that targeted area. When you move back to H4 time frame, since this is daily time frame, uh, we can see, clearly see this flag pattern, which has already been broken, though there is like double bottom formation, but it's high probability to move up. So we'll be looking for our entry point for the coming week in H4 time frame. Uh, uh, at this point here for buying and then when the market break and we test at this second point but the second entry is one which is a high probability but if it's it breaks and we test this support or resistance of ours we're going to be selling this pair toward this targeted area but high probability high probability i would insert for the coming week it's going to be moving up this is a woody nz and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at is Audi USD. Um, for Audi USD for the coming week, this is H4 time frame. We're going to be looking for a bullish direction. The big reason behind is because of clear first bottom and then the second bottom. And uh, another reason is because of this minor double bottoms. And another reason is because of this triangle. So we're expecting that the market will break the since it has already break this neck. It will come back to it will come back to retest. Sorry, it will come back to retest at this level. It's only going to be looking for entry, holding it toward that target area. This is Audi USD, and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at, apart from Audi USD, it's GPB Audi, and for GPB Audi for the coming week. For this coming week, we're going to be looking for a bullish direction. The big reason behind, let's go to weekly time frame. The big reason behind is because the market is moving up. And we're expecting for it to come to touch this trend line of ours in the weekly time frame. Then we move down toward this level. This is GPB chief and this is weekly time frame. When you go back to H4, when you go back to H4, we will be holding this pair until it's reach it reached to this bottom here. Yeah. Until it's reached this bottom here. If you can see it properly. It's this point here. This is GPB chief and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're gonna be looking at, sorry. Another pair which you're gonna be looking at apart from GPB GPB that was GPB Audi, sorry, it was GPB Audi. Now we are moving to another pair which is GPB card. For GPB card for this coming week, also we're gonna be looking for a little bullish direction. Then from there we're gonna have a little downtrend. 
where the market will come back to touch this trend line of ours of an uptrend at this point here when you go back to daily we can see the clear view it's because it is coming to touch this downtrend of ours which has been respected for a long period of time and it is like retesting the broken uptrend as you can see and it is completing the double bottom movement this is gpb card and this is daily time from another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from gpb card is gpb chase and for gpb chase for this coming week when you go back also to daily we can see there is little up move and the big reason behind for this market to move up it's because it is coming back to touch this trend line of ours then it will come back toward this level but this is the target for the coming week and it's side for you that it will continue moving up since we are expecting that this might be the first wave wave one this is the wave two this is the wave three now we're expecting to see wave five as this is the wave four for those who are trading wave but high probability it will it will reach to that movement and then we will look for other entry confirmation this is gpb chafe and this is daily time frame another pair which you're going to be looking at is gpb nz and uh, gpb nz when you go back to weekly time frame when you go back to weekly time frame as you can see there was a double bottom pattern and the market successful breached this trend line of ours now it's a successful broken this neck of our double bottoms we will wait for a good retest at this level then we we'll hold it toward that target area this is gpb nz and this is weekly time frame another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from gpb nz it's gpb usd and for gpb usd for this coming week you're going to be looking for a bullish direction when you go back to daily we're going to be looking for a bullish direction and we're going to be looking for a bullish direction since the market gave us the first shoulder now this is the head it will come back toward that level then we have a little pull back toward this level is when we're going to move up with it but high probability for this coming week we're going to be looking only for a temporary bullish direction toward that level. this is gpb usd and this is daily time frame another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from gpb usd it's nzd card and for nzd card for the coming week you're going to be looking for a bullish direction the big reason behind it's because the markets it's because the market is rewarding us a good a good double bottom pattern now we're expecting to see the movement of the market toward that area where do we expect to see our entry points our entry points we expect to see them when the market open at this level if it's the market will test very well and after the break and retest of the support or resistance holding it toward a targeted area this is in the d card and this is h4 time frame another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from in the d card it's in the d chase and for in the d chase for this coming week you're going to be looking for a bullish direction the big reason behind it is because the market has given us the second bottom which this is the first bottom and this is the second bottom but it has given us a triangle so we don't know maybe it might break up or it might break down but high probability to break up due to the double bottoms and when it's successful break we wait for good retest is when we're going to get our entry holding it toward our targeted area this is in the d chief and this is h4 time frame another pair which is going to be looking at apart from in the d chief and the d chief it's in the DSD it's in the DSD and for in the DSD for this coming week you're going to be looking for a bullish direction the reason behind is because the market has breached out this downtrend and also it has given us good double bottom pattern now since it has already break this support or resistance or the neck of it we are waiting for good retest at this level looking for entry confirmation holding it toward our targeted area and the big reason behind for us to continue moving up it's because of this triangle pattern this is in the dsd and this is h4 time frame another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from in the dsd it's usd card and for usd card for this coming week you're going to be looking for a bearish direction the big reason behind it is because we have the first top and the second top and the market has successful breached the neck of this double ball double tops and also there is this an uptrend which has already been breached we are looking for a good retest or pullback at this level holding it to a data gated area this is usd card and this is h4 time frame another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from usd card it's usd chase 
And for USDJ, for the coming week, we're going to be looking for temporary bullish direction, then long term bearish direction. The reason behind it is because we have this as the first shoulder and this as the head. Now we are waiting for a second shoulder as the market comes back to just this trend line of ours. And when it's come back, it touches the trend line of the downtrend. And this will be the second shoulder holding it toward our targeted area. Where do we look for entry? We look for buying opportunity here, holding it toward there. And then we look for selling opportunity there. Then adding another position after the break and retest of the neck of this head and shoulder pattern, and then holding it toward our targeted area. This is USD Chafe and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from USD Chafe is USD Knock. For USD Knock for this coming week, you're going to be looking for a bearish direction. The reason behind it is because we are expecting that this was the second top. I mean, this was the shoulder, and we were expecting to see the second shoulder, the head, and then the market will give us a pullback to give us the the shoulder, holding it toward our targeted area. But high probability for the coming week, we might have a big drop, a big drop of which we look for entry at this level, and after the break and retest of this, this, uh, this support or resistance of this trend line, we're going to add a position holding it toward this targeted area. This is USD knock and this is H4 time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from USD knock is USD ZAR. USD TRY, sorry. Let's move first to USD TRY. And for USD TRY, when you go back to daily time frame, as clearly you can see, there is this downtrend which has been respected for a long period of time. And the market has successful broken this trend line here. And it has come back to retest. Now we are looking for a buying opportunity holding it toward our targeted area. The reason behind it is because of the breach out of this triangle. This is your speed TRY and this is daily time frame. Another pair which you're going to be looking at apart from your speed TRY is your speed ZAR. And in your speed ZAR uh, for the coming week, you're going to be looking for a bearish direction. The big reason behind it is because the market has given us the first top and this is the second top. And the market has come back to retest this broken support or resistance, which was the neck of these double tops here. So we are anticipating that the market will continue dropping. Now we're waiting for a breach out and retest at this level. It's when we're going to look for our entry holding it to our data gated area. And then we add another position after the break and retest of this neck here. So we are, we are looking for two entries for the coming kings. These are this is your these are and this is H4 time frame another pair which you're going to be looking at and this is the last pair is usd mxn and for usd mxn for the coming week you're going to be looking for a bearish direction as the market is still completing the double tops pattern the market will move down as it's a, a successful breakout this trend line of ours we have a little pull back toward this level is only going to get our entry holding it to a data gated area this is usd mxn and this is h4 time frame for those who need account management training mentorship signal service they can contact us via the uh, description information and also for those who need one-on-one -on -one training i'm still in morogoro uh, and uh, for those who are in the rest now, uh, you can start making your bookings for one-on-one -on -one training in the restaurant from November. Happy paper chasing week traders.